Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to go in great detail and talk about how you can actually add products on your Shopify account. If you do not have a Shopify account, go and click in the description below on the link and get Shopify for 90 days because Shopify is your place where your dreams can come true. It can give you the financial freedom that you've always been dreaming about and you can discover the reason why millions of entrepreneurs choose Shopify to build their business. And the reason for that is because you can bring your vision to life with their easy to use store creators and there's no coding expertise that is required and obviously you can select from hundreds of customizable templates that are crafted by a community of world-class designers and you can add more features and functionalities to your online store with the app extensions from trusted Shopify partners. You can connect with customers anywhere, sell online, in person or both with the marketing tools and social media integrations and sales channels that you would need to get your product in front of customers. Everything that you need is available with Shopify where you can manage your inventory, track payments, and view real-time business insight from a single dashboard. And obviously with Shopify, they're empowering entrepreneurs all over the globe with millions of merchants worldwide. And even more, they're in 175 countries and they support 5 million jobs with a $444 billion economic activity that they've done. And it's very simple and easy to use. And the main reason why I personally love Shopify is the fact that everything that you need is available from Shopify blog online courses, their community, and their help center. So what you need to do is go over here on the top right hand side corner and click on start free trial. Once you do that, it will take you to the next page where they will ask you a simple question that which of these best describes you? Are you just starting off or are you already selling online or in person? Because we're just starting off, we're going to select I'm just starting and hit next. So after you do that, they'll ask you the second question is where would you like to sell an online store, an existing website or blog, social media? media, online marketplaces in person. If you're not sure, just click I'm not sure. But we're going to go with the online store where we can create a fully customizable website. Once you have selected that, all you need to do is click on next. And after doing that, they'll ask you about your online audience or following. So if you're engaging with an audience on online platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or anything else you can sell to them, you have to say yes or no. I will select yes and hit next. And after that, you can check where your existing audience is. We're going to put Facebook, we're going to put Twitter, we're going to put YouTube, and obviously connecting all of them together, we're going to hit next. And after doing that, this is the most important question that they ask you to name your store. And this is crucial because a lot of individuals do not select good names for their stores that do not reflect quality. So please make sure that you do a little bit of research in selecting the perfect name for your online business. And once you've done that, all you need to do is click on next. This is what your dashboard is going to look like on the left hand side, you're going to have your home, your orders, products, customers, analytics, marketing, discount, and the most interesting things are your online store, point of sale, Facebook and Instagram, and even Google, and there are different apps that are available. The two things I want to highlight right now are the analytics and marketing, because this is the common denominator for success. If you understand how to analyze your information that you get and understand the marketing perspective, that will give you a competitive advantage in this particular niche and really propel you into success. On the main side, you'll have your setup guide where you can add your first product, add a brand asset, add a custom domain you're customizing. You can also customize your theme and you can get started on Facebook or Instagram and get started on Google or even YouTube. Then you have your support system with your help center from Shopify Learn, courses, community, and you can talk about different topics that are available if you have any issues whatsoever. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to teach you exactly how to add products from AliExpress. Now, AliExpress is one of the biggest platforms right now, which has a lot of products and you can easily get those products directly from AliExpress. You don't need to download anything. You don't need to copy and paste anything. All you need to do is follow the steps that I'm going to show you. And to do that, all you need to do is click on add apps. Now, once you do that, you'll see there's an option called Desellers AliExpress Dropshipping. So we're going to click on it. And once we click on it, it's going to open up in the next window. Now, obviously, I want to go in a little bit of detail and explain to you what Deseller AliExpress is before I get into it. Now, this is a place where you can order faster because Deseller seller lets you place multiple orders at once faster to save time and gain efficiency with AliExpress dropshipping solution. With these sellers, you can find and import products easily and get access to special suppliers for better prices, higher quality to grow your business. And you can find new suppliers with better prices and quality for your products to increase your margins and improve your customer satisfaction. So all we need to do is click on add the app. 
Once we click on add the app, you'll see that DSERS has this option that's gonna come over here that's gonna give us the ability to connect our Shopify account with the DSERS AliExpress dropshipping. All we need to do is click on install the app and we will start installing the app. It's gonna take a couple of seconds, but it will give us a complete breakdown of DSERS. Once you do that and starts connected, it's gonna ask you for one of the elements over here. You wanna go for the enterprise, the pro or the advanced or for the basic free. Now the thing over here that I need to mention and this is a mistake which a lot of individuals tend to make is that they go for the advance for $19.90 per month. But you want to go for the free option because the free option gives you the ability to understand the dynamics and how the system tends to work. And once you get hold of it and once you understand the system, then you can always upgrade. So we're going to click on get started for the basic free. And once we've done that, it will take us to the third step where we can link it to AliExpress. All we need to do is click on AliExpress and it's going to link our account with AliExpress. Once you've linked your Shopify account with AliExpress, this is the page that's going to come up. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see all the different products that are available that you can easily add onto your Shopify account. It is as simple as that, guys. But before you do that, there's a couple of steps I need to mention to ensure that you don't make any mistakes whatsoever. So we're going to select a very good product that we feel is definitely going to sell. For example, this product over here. So we're going to add it to our import list. Once we click on it, you'll see that the product has imported successfully. So we need to go to the import list to check. So what we're going to do is we're going to close it from here and then we're going to click on the import list. As you will see, there's going to be a number that's going to be added over here, which is going to be one. Let's say we want to add another product. So we're going to add this portable laundry basket over here. We're going to click add to the import list and then we're going to close it from here. You'll see the number has increased from one to two. Then we are going to click on the import list. And once we do that, we'll see that there's two products that are available over here that we can easily add to our Shopify account. So we're going to select like this product and we're going to select this product. Now both these products have been selected. After selecting both of them, we can create tags, we can apply the tags, we can delete it as well, but we want to push it to Shopify. So we can click on push to Shopify. Once we click on push to Shopify, we will select the store. Our store is already selected over here and we can even give continue selling when out of stock, also publish to our online store. Since we don't have an online store right now and we want to simply push it to our Shopify account, so we're going to click on push to Shopify. Once we click on it, it's going to take a couple of seconds and it's going to push it to Shopify. Then we're going to head back to our Shopify account. Once we click over here, you'll see that there's going to be an option called product on the left hand side. Once we click on product, we'll see the two products that we have added from AliExpress are going to be available over here. So we're going to click on the product. You'll see an eye icon over here to preview it on our online store. So we're going to click on it to see how it's going to look on our online store. As you can clearly see, this is a product now available. It has the price. It has a description it has the different sizes and the quantity as well and the specification of this particular product and we literally did not have to add anything from the pictures from the descriptions all of it was available and all we need to do now is make it look nice and obviously edit our landing page it is as simple as that guys if you want to check our other option we can check our other option as well by clicking the online store over here and we can see the product that is going to be available if you scroll down you'll see all the different options that are available and obviously this gives it a competitive advantage for you because you can import hundreds and thousands of different products onto your Shopify. It's as simple and straightforward as that, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, do let me know in the comment section below because I'm here to help you, guide you, support you, and assist you and ensure that you're able to start selling online using Shopify. If you don't have a Shopify account, click on the description below on the link and get Shopify for 90 days. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Share this video with your friends and with your family so more people can find out how simple, straightforward, and easy it is to import different products from AliExpress to your Shopify store. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care.